Hello, crypto world. Welcome to The Chart Historian. My name is Justin, and on this channel, I delve deep into crypto charts, exploring chart structures, fractals, and patterns. Well, in this video, I have the XRP chart open, and I want to go over what is taking place on the XRP chart and what we should expect in the coming days. So first off, it is my belief that XRP is currently following the macro chart structure, and it is my belief that this fractal this third fractal of the sideways range bound time is so far acting as a pretty decent guide. So for those of you who are wondering what this is, so let me just give you a quick overview. So this here is the macro structure of the XRP chart. So XRP has a bull run. We see that here, we see that here, we see that here. After the bull run, comes the decline in the red box. We see that here, we see that here, we see that here. And if you go further back, it's the same story. After the decline, XRP enters into a range bound time. We see that here in these black boxes, same here. I divide this range bound time into three separate fractals, fractal one, fractal two, and fractal three. I further divide them into different sub movements of these fractals. After this range bound time comes the bull run. After this range bound time came the bull run. After this range bound time will come the bull run. This always happens. It is the macro chart structure. So where are we at right now? Well, we have completed fractal one, as we see over here. Part A is the move up and down. And then part B is the part that goes flat or sideways. We see that happened over here. Fractal two, it moves back up and it has three waves, wave A, wave B, and wave C. We see that happened over here, wave A, wave B, and wave C was very much exaggerated by the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, but true to its nature, it came down just like it did here, and it did the same thing over here. In fact, this move down mirrored this one quite well. So we have now just entered into this third fractal. Let's zoom into this fractal here and get a better picture of what is taking place. So the essence of this fractal is price moves up to a point, it crashes. After that crash, it moves back up, does a small correction, and then it's off to the bull run. Now, this fractal has played out many times, as have all these other fractals in the sideways range bound time. This iteration is one iteration of many. However, usually, the most recent fractal can tend to have the most similar moves, if you will, to what is currently taking place on the chart. So I believe this one is a good, potentially good guide for what we are currently experiencing. So this fractal has three basic waves, one, two, three. On the third one, it reaches its peak right here. So. We are currently, I believe, working on this wave. I'm going to copy this structure here, and then we will move it on to today's chart. So here is fractal two, the end of fractal two, and this is the dividing line where it goes into fractal three. So as you can see, let's zoom in here. There are similarities now. Whenever a fractal repeats, the timing, the height, and the depth, they're always going to be unique and original. So what that means is today's chart may move up higher, it may move down lower, or it may take longer to play out in certain areas or shorter. All those variables change whenever a fractal repeats. It's always going to be original. So as this plays out, it's not going to be a mirror image. See the drop here, this drop it was larger than this drop. This wave right here was much larger on today's chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part of the fractal and adjust it for today's timing, height, and depth, just so you can get a clear picture that yes, indeed, it is following this roadmap. Okay, so I adjusted this fractal to meet today's timing, height, and depth a little better. I didn't go too much into the weeds with it. This part, I pretty much left all as is. This part is really a deviation. It went up much higher, but it still continues to follow. So I adjusted this part right here, where the move down and the move back up matched a little better what today's chart did. And this move down, I made it larger. 
it's the same fractal, people. I'm just, instead of being this big, I stretched it out to meet what is currently taking place on today's chart. So already we see over here this move up. Today's chart is going faster than what this structure has done in the past. So this would have to be moved over here really to match what's going on right now. So as you can see, timing is just extremely dynamic. Height and depth, they're all very dynamic. But the overall basic roadmap is, as you can see, very similar. So if this continues to play out, what we can expect is a, now this has a gradual move up. It could take this path to a peak or it could do something like this and then drastically jump up and do something like that. We'll have to see how it actually materializes. But the bigger picture is that this will be a first wave if it continues to follow this fractal. So it will come to a peak and then it will decline and eventually move into that next wave. Let's zoom back out to the big picture. Okay, so now that we're zoomed out, I want to show you how big this wave is compared to if this roughly continues at this speed. Look how small this one is compared to this one. This is a really nice thing to see. So it's this a really long time. It is now going much faster. So I don't know how long the overall structure will play out. I don't know how high this will go up or how deep this crash will be, but be prepared once we get here for some turbulence. I was actually going back th the other day and looking through some of my old videos. And in there, I talk about the XRP structure and what should come next. And I am spot on with all that. So starting like around here, I, I predict this fractal one will take place. Once this one completes, I predict this fractal two will take place. The macro structure has been spot on. Where I get lost sometimes is how high something will go, will move up, how low it will move down, how long it could take. Those things are the weak point of this type of technical analysis. So it stands to reason that I have a harder time predicting those. So whenever I talk about height, depth, timing, always view it as a possibility. It is never going to have the same strength as when I say this fractal comes next, when I'm talking about the macro structure. When I, so when I talk about the macro structure, you can put more weight in that. When I talk about how high something could move up, how high it's moved up in the past, and therefore it could move up this high in the future, that is really speculative. And we see that in standard technical analysis as well. It's hard to predict how high something will go. It's hard to predict how long something will take to play out. Those are factors that are dynamic, as we saw over here, where it was just continually changing the timing. So anyways, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, it'd be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. You know, I'm not a financial advisor, so none of this should be used as financial or investment advice. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I highly recommend you do. This is unique TA. You're not going to find this type of stuff anywhere else. It's stuff that this, this system is something I have discovered. It has been spot on. I predicted recently this move up where the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit got that ruling. I predicted the move down. And before this, I predicted this move up. I predicted this move up. I predicted this move up. This type of TA has that strength. So if it's something you like, hit that subscribe button. I'm also a new channel. I, you may have a hard time finding me again if you don't hit it. I'm almost to 600 subscribers. I can't wait to the day I get to 600 subscribers. Woohoo! Anyways, I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.